Wow, hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We had a really rough time of it in the last episode. Um, our base is potentially on fire, but thankfully it's raining, so I think this fire will not spread too aggressively. That last raid, man, we are kind of, uh, we barely survived. I'm glad Tronka survived, but oh my gosh. I don't think we should have ever let it get that close. Tronka was literally on fire, like, almost dead. Yep, look at this. 6% consciousness. I'm pretty sure when that gets to zero, that means they're just dead. Alright, but, alas, we did survive. For some reason, I have this bowl here, just like roaming free in the base. I don't know what he's doing, why he's not in his pen, but somebody needs to take him back. I think the name of the game for the next couple of episodes is getting walls up. We can't keep doing raids like this. We're we are going to die if we keep on um, having these raids where we're just kind of improvising cover for ourselves. We need to be a lot more um, intelligent about directing the assaults to a place of our choosing. So what I think we're going to do is we kind of need easy access over to here because this is where we are hauling all of our kind of junk and our dead bodies and stuff. So I think we're going to have one entrance to the base that we need to kind of set up the def uh, defenses for over here. We need to set up like maybe some kind of wall around here. It's going to be a big order, but for the time being, uh, we should probably start with just deconstructing all of this stuff that's in our way. So I'm going to go ahead and go and claim maybe orders. We're going to go ahead and claim all of this and then we're going to immediately deconstruct all of this. Where's the button for deconstruct? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of this stuff. I kind of like having this though, so I'm actually not going to deconstruct these monuments. These might be fun to kind of move around our base and use them to decorate, but everything else, I mean... We don't really realistically need to keep all of this stuff. We can build tables and stuff ourselves. Okay. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by building... Eventually, we're going to probably want um, a wall that kind of skirts around like this. But right now, I can probably just quickly close off this gap right here with a couple walls. I can probably close off this gap right here with a couple walls and then we'll just leave this open and build like a sandbag barrier. That will be our southern defense. This side's going to be a whole lot more difficult to defend but we'll find a way. We'll find a way. We've got visitors coming. Maybe they'll have some interesting things to trade. Okay, so I'm going to go to structure, wall. And um, let's make some limestone walls. Like I said, we're going to close off this gap right here. We're going to close off this gap right here. So anyone attacking from vaguely the southern or eastern direction. There is no eastern direction, I guess, because this is all ocean. Anyone coming from the south will probably come up here and be funneled to go into here. So all we need to do now is go into security. Make some sandbags. We've got more than enough camel hides. So let's go ahead and um, how do we want to do this? I think we could probably just set up something like that and we can put our, our colonists behind these sandbags. Uh, and the last thing we need to do is keep this place clear of trees. That way they won't have any cover to hide behind. I am a little concerned that maybe they'll find cover right here and be able to shoot us from behind here. How do we want to deal with that situation? I mean, we could just expand the sandbags out like this. I don't really like that option. Maybe we just live with this. You know what? We should be able to get a few shots off on them before they get up to this point. Mm, okay, you know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking we need to have our defensive kind of outpost maybe a little forward-facing. If we kept the sandbags right there, 
the issue is is that they could cross the river up here and be and come in kind of completely undercover from our own buildings and we wouldn't be able to shoot at them until they got really close within melee range ideally we want to be able to shoot at them from afar so it almost seems like this would be a better place to put some sandbags like here this would be a much better place to have the sandbags that way we can, if they uh, are coming, we can have some colonists right here. One, two, three shooters to kind of cover this whole area. Or if they're coming from the other direction, we can move them into this corner. If they're coming from up here for some reason, we can move them into this corner. We'll be, we'll be ready for them no matter what direction they're coming from. We do need to make sure that we keep this place clear of trees. It looks like we already have an order to chop a bunch of trees, but nobody's gotten around to it just yet. But eventually we will. We can harvest some berries too so we can stop starving. I am concerned about the food situation. Tronka has a medical emergency, yeah we know. Jay and Olga are gonna have a major mental break, yeah we know. So since Tronka is our cook and we don't have anyone else cooking and Tronka is gonna be out for a good long while, we're gonna have Jay, yeah I think it's gonna be Jay, fill in. Jay, you are now a priority one cook. Thank you. I mean, Jay's pretty beat up too. But I think Jay will recover much more quickly than Tronka. Okay, so in four hours, um, Minyaka is going to be able to use her Preach Health, uh, which allows our colonists to heal more quickly. Do we want to use that on Jay or Tronka? If we use it on Tronka, I mean, that'll really cut down, significantly cut down on Tronka's healing time. Because, oh my gosh, look at the sheer number of injuries that need to heal. Yeah, I think we'll use it on Tronka. I was considering Jay as well, because it might be better to just get somebody online, like, back fully healthy sooner. But, we'll see. Minyaka? I want you to go ahead and talk to Green. They gave us a, a, an excellent grape bow. Well, I can't complain. We'll take an excellent grape bow for sure. We have a masterwork recurve bow. We have a good recurve bow. We have a good grape bow. So Jay, I actually want you to equip this excellent grape bow instead of the good one that you using right now. Alright, Minyaka's got poor health apparently. She cannot hear properly, so we have reduced trade prices from her. Of course her ears got injured, and that's really, that spells bad news for us. Okay, since we're not using guns yet, I think, I kind of want to hold on to these guns though. I kind of want to hold on to these guns. We can get rid of the club and the knife for sure. Uh, do we need to keep a side trainer? Like, I just want to get rid of things that are like high value because I don't want to have too much value sitting in our base. All right, so Minyaka might not be our best trader now that she's got damaged hearing. Her left ear is destroyed. Oh my gosh, not good. Alright, but Minyaka, now that you're awake, oh, she's going right back to bed. And her ability's not even ready yet. Okay, so we've got our defensive situation sorted, um, sorted in the south. Now we need to cover, we've been attacked from around here quite, quite a lot, and we've been attacked from this way quite a lot. I don't know how often we get attacked from up here, but I guess it's just as common as anything else. So, until we can get walls, which is a huge construction project that we really don't have the manpower or resources for, I think we're going to have to just build some sandbag outposts. I 
think we could probably start building a wall, maybe like up here. And then have a little sand sandbag outpost like right here. That can cover shooting down here, cover shooting over here, cover shooting over here. And then likewise at the top of this base, we can probably extend some kind of wall out this way and have another sandbag outpost right here. Our weak point would be the pen. I don't think we can defend this whole thing and the raiders would be able to easily hop the fence and kind of bypass our defenses that way. Okay, Minyaka's ability has recharged, so I want you to go ahead and preach health to your husband. Has our dog suffered any major permanent injuries? Nope. Okay, well at least our dog's doing okay. At least our dog's doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the speed now that we've kind of got a plan. We really just need to wait for our guys to recover. Looks like Olga's kind of recovered from the near mental break that he was about to have. Oh my gosh. A transport pod has crashed with a guy, an injured guy. He's... No, not he. She is 50 years old. Suffering from gunshots and uh, broken bones, looks like. She is really good at mining. This could be the one. Mm, I hate this trait though. She's going to be pissed off every time she has to go outside and uh, we have a very outside oriented base. She's very neurotic too, which means she's going to like be even more pissed off all the time. And um, I don't think we currently have any kind of living arrangements set up for her. I think we need to forego this opportunity. I don't think we're ready for Lopez right now. We can't even feed our own colonists. How are we supposed to feed another extra person? Unfortunately, we're just going to leave Lopez to her fate. Let nature deal with her, as it will. Okay, well, Tronka's back up online and walking again. There's that. Tronka, you got some cooking to do. Oh my gosh, and who's who's in charge of cleaning here? How long is Tomboy out for? Tom Tomboy's still out for 21 more days, but we're gonna have Tomboy be our janitor when she grows up, so she can kind of forego her educational responsibilities in favor of cleaning the base. We'll leave the education for Crowbar and Kamba. Okay, looks like we have started securing up our southern, southern borders. Olga is having a little bit of a sad wander. He's just wandering around the base, doing nothing useful. And Minyaka is throwing a tantrum. Minyaka, are you done with your tantrum? Good. We don't support that here. Tronka. Tronka, you're resting. I don't need you to be resting right now. I need you to go ahead and re-equip your masterwork recurve bow, okay? We need you to be ready in case we should get, God for forbid it, um, attacked again while we're down. We get attacked right now though. So we're not really surviving. Olga's having a sad wander, so Olga's useless. We really only have three defenders. Two of them are heavily injured. Jay, are you gonna recover soon though? Jay's left leg is almost healed. The torso still needs quite a bit of healing though. Okay, um, what I need to do though is no more bed rest for anybody, okay? Tronka, I need you working. Jay's butchering. Can you be cooking? Nope. Can you not consume beef? I need you to prioritize cooking instead. Cooking instead of eating. There you go, Tronka. Appreciate it. You're doing great. We got meals again. Four, four whole meals. Soon to be eight. My gosh, okay, we're not gonna starve. We're not gonna starve. I bet you this corn is ready to harvest soon too. Yep, 93% grown, 94% grown. Okay, once we get this harvest of corn in, we're gonna be laughing. We're gonna be laughing all the way to the bank. Who's starving, Tronka? All right, Tronka, don't starve. Cancel your prioritized work and go eat. 
You've done enough cooking for today. Thank you, we appreciate it. Jay is fully healed, yay. Okay, so now it's just Chanka who needs time to heal. Boy, does he ever need time. What's this boom rat doing in here? Get out of here, we don't want you eating our, eating our stuff. This is for animals only, boom rat. Okay, I'm gonna go back to work and I'm gonna say, you know what? Jay, you're off cooking duty. That's just for Tronka now. Tronka though, I could really have you do with um, cutting some trees instead of harvesting the fields. Because we need wood in order to cook meals. And we're out of wood right now. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, we can't actually move these things. We can only build a copy. It costs 250 to build one of these things? Wow. Talk about an expensive building project. I think we'll build like a giant monument right here. This might be a nice place for it. Yeah. And then the other ones, I think we'll just go ahead and deconstruct. There's no reason to keep all these if we can't move them around. I kind of like the idea of having a bunch of like cool monuments. I wish you could just build these from your building menu, but I don't think we have access to that kind of building. We might be able to find other examples somewhere else. Nope. I think those are the only ones on the map. Oh, no, we have some other ones that we can build from here. Okay, we should be fine. If we ever want to build them, we have options. But yeah, we, we can't have them have any cover here. So all the rocks and all the trees need to be cut. All the rocks need to be hauled away. So this is a completely clear and open area for us to shoot in. Okay, this defense is up and, up and ready to go. Um, the next thing we need to do is Minyaka, who's now up and up and going. Minyaka, I need you. Okay, fine. I'll let you finish training the dog because we do want this dog to be able to help us around the base. I want you to go ahead and get this car, car out of here. We need to start getting all these car parts out of the way. Minyaka single-handedly hacking this car to, to pieces with her steel mace. And this engine block, get it out of here too. And go ahead and attack this one too. Okay, fantastic. Minyaka, you're doing good work. Okay, that's enough for today. We're going to have you come back tomorrow. Destroy maybe some of this stuff. Yep. And then we'll be able to build the start of a wall that goes... Um, maybe we could have the whole wall stretch from here to here. That might be good, actually. That'll give us a lot of room to play with if we want to expand our base and whatnot. Okay, this corn is ready to harvest. Why don't we get harvesting, Jay? I should never have given you a big construction project to work on. Now you're doing anything but harvesting. Haven't checked on in Crowbar in a while. How's Crowbar's learning? Growth tier level four. Okay, currently we get to choose one passion and one trait from four options. At the next tier, he's gonna be able to choose one passion from two options and again, one trait from four options. That's pretty good. Crowbar, keep it up. Yeah, Jay's pretty good at construction now. Jay's really good at the, th the things he does. He's really good at shooting, which he does a lot, construction, which he does a lot, and um, plant work, which he does a lot. Jay, I think, is also gonna become our new full-time, our new full-time, what do I wanna say? Social person? Trader, I guess, spokesperson? With Minyaka's impaired hearing, she's not as effective as Jay is going to be now. He still has nine levels of social skills, which is pretty good. 
There you go, Minyaka. Helping deconstruct all this clutter. We do need to haul all of these uh, blocks as well. No stone chunks. Okay, it looks like we are getting in our harvest of cotton this year. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the, the field so that we don't allow any more sowing. Uh, this way we're gonna have our planters focus on the hay and the corn for the rest of the season. We've got plenty enough cloth to work with if we need to build new clothes and whatnot. I think most of our colonists are currently wearing, let's see, currently wearing tribal wear. I think, I think we should be able to have them replace their tribal wear with like shirts and pants. I don't know if they can wear the robe in addition to shirts and pants. We'll see. We'll try. Tronka's fully healed. Okay. Fantastic. Welcome back to the land of the living, Tronka. Welcome back. We have a new quest available called Desperate Nomad. A desperate refugee named Robustba, Robustba is approaching. Robustba claims to be woken up from crypto sleep all alone and friendless. She begs for her permission to stay at Azwar for 19 days. All right, she's going to be willing to help us out for the 19 days that she's here, but I don't think that that's worth it. Um, we really are low on food. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can hear my cat in the background there whining. All right, I think this is probably going to be a pretty good time to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time when we're going to continue to build out our defenses in the west and in the north.